Hello people watching this video, welcome to yet another review show, where it's basically the same as the others, just in a slightly different way. And yes, I am wearing what I wear at night right now, I just, I wear whatever I want to on camera, I mean, I don't have to look a certain way to put a video on YouTube, I, I don't think. Have you ever wondered what happened years before the events of the very original Mortal Kombat game? Well, wonder no more, because I know of a game that's actually quite different in the realm of Mortal Kombat and also takes place years before the original Mortal Kombat, storyline-wise. Mortal Kombat Mythology Sub-Zero. This game was actually quite different, by MK standards anyway. You know, now that I'm looking at this, something seems familiar about this game. And I don't mean when the Angry Video Game Nerd reviewed it. So over here? Or, uh, 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 regular fighting style that the other Mortal Kombat's had? Well then play those, because, you know, you won't find it here. You will fail. <laughs> oh yeah, I already reviewed this game on the Denkit Show. My very second episode. Well, since I reviewed this kinda recently, I guess I'll wait a little bit longer before I review it here. You know, I'm starting to remember something else from that video. Special Forces Combat Special Forces You must look out. Special Combat Special Forces Special Forces. What are another? You know, I never got around to reviewing this on the Danget Show. I'll just review it here then. Released in 2000 and developed and published by Midway Games, Mortal Kombat Special Forces was one of the most different Mortal Kombat games yet. Apparently the game was rushed to completion. This, surprise surprise, did not end well for the game's reputation. This is considered by fans and critics to be the worst Mortal Kombat game yet. Ed Boon, the creator of Mortal Kombat, later said, I didn't work on Special Forces. The game and project were riddled with all kinds of problems. I could write a book on that. Well, from all I said, I'm sure we're in for a real treat. I'll be playing the PlayStation version of this game. Both because it's one of my most favorite game systems, and, well, this was the uh, only version of it. I swear, I thought I'd seen an N64 version sometime. But, you know what? I was probably just dreaming. So, let's get started. We'll see why I deserve that throw in a few minutes. Oh, so this is what we're in for today. Mortal Kombat Special Forces Ratchet, Ratchet and Clank We start off in front of a prison. Looks all right enough for PS1 cutscene standards. Oh man, there's gonna be a loud prison break, I can just feel it! Clearly, it was so loud that the human ear just couldn't handle the sound. WHAT?! If this were a narrated cutscene, this silence would be more understandable. But this is a regular cutscene, why is there a lack of more sounds? Jax, we have an urgent situation that demands your attention. 
What's the problem, Gemini? I have a bottle of wine, some candles, and a bed with no one to share it with. The list of escaped prisoners is as follows. No Face, Tazia, Jarek, and Trimmer. In case you were wondering where Trimmer came from. They apparently are hiding out in an abandoned warehouse on the south side of town. Jax, we have just arrived at the location and we are awaiting your orders. Wait a minute. Oh no! It's all polygonal and not the good kind by 2000 standards. Kano, you're gonna pay for this. Well now I don't know how serious he is about the mission. I mean, with the waving of his arms up in the air like that, you'd think he'd sound more serious, but he just kinda calmly says that. Now you will watch and you will enjoy this video right here. Am I... am I playing the right game here? Well let's see, we have the dragon logo here, uh, there's fighting going on, and Jax is black and has metal arms. Answer? Technically a Mortal Kombat game, I guess. Loving it so far. Also, loving the videotape on your back there, Jax. Very unique. So from the look and feel of this game, it seems to me that this is an action-adventure beat-em-up. Both because of the way the game is, and that's what Wikipedia calls it. And like with any beat-em-up game, it can either be repetitive but fun, or just plain repetitive. Can you guess which one this is? Apparently you can use these types of moves by holding one of the shoulder buttons and pressing one of the action buttons. Oh, got a new combo. Get some... sucker? What do you mean by some sucker? No, that's just the name of the combo, they just spell get with... never mind. You can unlock different combos as you progress through the game. Though like the regular Mortal Kombat games, they seem to work whenever they feel like it. I swear I keep hitting the right buttons but they hardly work. Ah, oh, finally! <laughs> that was well worth it. Now there's the Mortal Kombat I know, kind of. Eventually, you find ammo for weapons. And soon after, you find weapons for that ammo. I I'm not quite sure why they weren't together in the first place, but I guess at least you're prepared. Now so far, this game has been... not so good, to put it nicely. But here's where the game gets really bad. Okay, just gotta find all I need to get through this level. And oh joy, I have to backtrack. What's next? Let's look up the info on this guy. He has a hot temper. Yeah, who says you can't have any fun while dealing with a serious life or death situation? Vast knowledge in the use of explosives. Beware of airborne dynamite. Those who play with fire will get burned. Well, that just depends on where you have the fire. But it's best just to avoid it, kids who may be playing this violent M-rated game. The bosses in this game are just harder versions of regular enemies that take longer to kill. Up next we have... Why isn't this changing? It's... Oh. What? I'm in the middle of Are you sure something you don't right need now. my help with this? Because it looks kind of like... You're, I'm, I'm it looks like you're over me. 10 I'm minutes good. in. I'm... You haven't even set up your background. Okay, I'm... I'm... I'm doing generally good, alright? I'm just... I can fix this. Anyway. Up next we head for the sewers, which seems like the source of where this game was created. In this level you have to find clues for a password for some keypads or something. I'm getting bored at this point. I can't think of any better way. Which again, takes forever. 
I should probably take this time to mention that if you hit the select button you can look at your messages, look at some combos, and check your inventory. There's also a button you can press to go into a first person view, but it's usually useless unless you have a gun, as seen here, or if you're trying to look for easter eggs or something. I'm sorry, what was that? Alright then. Up next, we're in a parking lot or something. I, I really don't care at this point. Did you know? You can find a red car in Mortal Kombat Special Forces. Upon inspecting the car's license plate, it will read Midway. This is an obvious reference to the creators of Mortal Kombat, Midway Games. Did you also know that this game is freaking terrible? I'll be honest, whenever I got to the next part of the level, I just gave up. All that really happens is I beat some women up in a shower room, and then I got lost and didn't know what to do. I didn't even bother to look up a guide for this game, it's just so boring. This game had potential of being good, but there was just so much wrong with it. I wanted to finish this game, I really did, I just couldn't. It's not the worst game I've ever played, but it's definitely in my top, I don't know, 20 or something. Unless you're morbidly curious, or you want to add this to your Mortal Kombat and or PS1 collection, I'd give this one a skip. Or, you can take it outside, burn it, and then bury it, then dig it back up, take it to a cliff, and throw it off, and never, ever look back. In other words, I didn't like this game. Anyway, thanks for watching this video. If you'd like to see more of these types of videos, or any video on my channel in general, then go ahead and click or touch that subscribe button, hit the like button if you like this video, and ending what I normally say now. Also, uh, leave me a lo leave a comment or something if uh, you have something against uh, or have something for my uh, me wearing night clothes on here. I need to get some suggestions just to be sure that I don't disturb you with something. I don't have anything disturbing, but um, this is actually quite off script now, and I'm gonna end it here.